Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be talking about something called the national grid. So we'll talk about what that term actually means, national grid itself, and then we'll talk about the different components that make it up. So all you have to do is look around outside and usually it's not too hard to spot a large electricity pylon on what appears to be cables spanning for miles and miles. Now those pylons, the wires and the cables, basically form a network over the country allowing electricity to be delivered to businesses, to homes and it's that network that we're really referring to as the national grid. Grid as in all of these cables seem to be sort of mapped out and intersect if you like. Some argue, actually just as a side point, some argue that such visible cables like the ones I, if I just little blue arrows like these kind of cables that you might recognize some argue that these kind of visible cables are unsightly but if we actually had them underground which sometimes is a question that comes up if we had them underground it would cost a lot in laying them and repairing them so if, if they if a question in an exam asked the problems of laying them underground it would be that they are difficult in laying and repairing so what we've got here on this diagram or in the, this main screen is a simple picture of a power station. And I'm going to label the parts and speak about what goes on at each, ultimately explaining how we get electricity. So here at the start, we have our power station. So that's what all of this part here essentially refers to. This here is our power station. Now here, fuel is burned to boil water which in turn makes steam. Now when I say fuel, I essentially mean things like coal, oil, fossil fuels, or even nuclear fuels. Now the steam makes a turbine, or like a fan, spin, and that spinning turns a generator which produces electricity. So let's just go through it again. So we've got the power station where we're burning fuels, and underneath, in I've drawn an arrow and I've put in these square black brackets a little picture to represent this. So what we have is burning the fuel to boil water. So that makes steam. And the steam makes a turbine spin. And that's what this is here. So we've got steam in our turbine. And as it spins, that spinning turns a generator which produces electricity. And this here at the bottom, therefore, put label in red, it's our generator. So we boil water turn into steam, steam turns a turbine, and that action powers the generator. And that produces electricity. Now, it should be said that renewable energy resources, such as wind and wave, which I know you cover in school, could actually drive these generators directly. So as well as being better for the environment, they're actually more efficient. Okay, important to note, electricity is supplied to consumers, so you and I, through this national grid, but it's done at a very high voltage. And that's to reduce energy losses during transmission. So getting from, if we call this side A, so the power station, so our point of origin, and we've got B over here, which is our home going from A to B essentially, we could lose a lot of energy during that transmission. So we need to have a very high voltage. So what we use are, are things called transformers. And let's just label one here. That's what this is. There, with the T, it's a transformer. So from the generator, and the generator, I think I've got it on this big diagram here to as this bit there, we need a transformer. Now, we're not talking movie transformers. These are devices designed to increase or decrease the voltage of an alternating current supply. So basically, they are changing a high voltage supply into a low voltage one, or vice versa, a low voltage supply into a higher one. A transformer that increases the voltage is called a step-up transformer. So you might guess that one that decreases the voltage is called a step 
down transformer. So this one here at the beginning, because I said we need a higher voltage, this one is most likely going to be a, a, a step up transformer. Now, step up transformers are used at power stations to produce the very high voltages needed to transmit electricity through the national grid power lines. Now these high voltages, as you might guess, are far too dangerous to use in the home. So then what we have to use is a step down transformer at a more local level. So we're talking about nearer to our actual home. And that's to reduce the voltage to safe levels. So what we've got here is a transformer. But this one this time is a step down down. So you can see what we're essentially going to have is high voltage electricity passing through these cables, if I just draw them in pink, in this direction, go through the pylons and then, as required, that electricity will pass through or that current passes through the step down transformer. We bring the voltage a lot lower and then we can get that electricity passing to be used in our home. Now the voltage of household electricity is actually about 230 volts. I'm just going to make a note of that just above the house. So the voltage that we're using there is about 230 volts, which seems very small when you think about this. Power stations produce electricity at 25,000 volts. So let's just put that up there, 25,000 volts. So you can see a straight away big difference there. But electricity is sent through the national grid cables at 400, at its peak, 400,000 volts. So we've got 400,000 volts, 275,000 volts, and even 132,000. So we're basically bringing down that voltage as we're getting closer and closer to where we're going to deliver that electricity. So I'll put here 4,000 to 132,000 volts through the national grid. When a current flows through a wire, some energy is lost as heat. So current flowing through the wire, lose some energy in the form of heat energy. So the higher the current, you could guess that the more heat you lose. So we've got to minimise that. So to reduce these losses, the national grid transmits electricity at a very low current. So when we talk about current in electricity low down in a school, we think about current being sort of the, the flow of the electrons around a circuit. We need a very low current. But to get that, we need a very high voltage. So that's why the values I've just mentioned seem very large. That's why we step up the voltage to begin with current flows through the national grid and then we step down we bring it down to a safer level so just to recap we burn our fuel to boil water so as to produce steam the steam goes to turn a turbine which generates electricity we then use a step up transformer to increase the voltage to be able to transmit that electric current along all of the cables and wires in this extensive network if you like around the country and then we use a step down transformer to make the voltage safe enough to be able to use that electricity in our homes. Okay, hope all that helps.